Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and the 1st of January not only means that it's a new year, but it's time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see what the new sketch looks like, see my first set, and find out how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. As you may already know, the first of the month is always special here on my channel. It is the day where I debut the newest sheet load of cards, share my first set with you, and tell you how you can download that printable. Well, this month is even more special and you'll find out about that here in a little bit. If you're new to my channel or new to sheet load of cards, this is a free two page printable I put out each month for my subscribers. It shows you how to make the most of your pattern paper and cardstock to get a sheet load of cards. That's usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards with maybe a few pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock. Before we see what this month's sketch looks like, I do want to give a big shout out to all of my channel members. These members support me financially each month. They help me to keep creating and keep giving you Sheetload for free. So make sure to leave them a little thank you in the comment section below. And if you would like to find out about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link at the top of the description box. Before we take a look at this month's sketch, I do want to talk to you about why it's a little extra special. A couple months ago, my friend Danny shared this card online, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I liked the simple shapes in the background, and then how the focal image was die cut and popped up on the sentiment piece, but then it also extended past it. Well, I reached out to her and I'm like, can I please use this to inspire a future sheet load? Well, she let me know that she was inspired by a Mojo Monday sketch. She did switch it up a little bit. And she gave me some information about how I could possibly reach out to the owner of that blog. And I did, and I asked if I could use this for a sheet load, and luckily she said yes. So this month's sheet load is inspired by my friend Danny and a Mojo Monday sketch, which I will tell you a little bit more about that when we get to the printable. And I was super thrilled when Danny gave me the inspiration card one day when we met. It has a special place in my craft room. I just love to look at it. Thank you so much, Danny. Before we take a look at the new sketch, I wanted to stop by with a special channel member shout out. I would like to say a great big welcome and thank you to Fresh and Renewed with Teresa, who is my newest paper trimmer level member. Thank you as well to all of my channel members, and if you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, you can check out the description box below. So here is the first look at the January 2022 sheet load of cards. If you look over here on the left, my sketch is a pretty close representation to the card that Danny gave me. And just so you know, this is at 100%. So if you're ever wondering, oh, will my sentiment fit on that area? Or will my die cut image fit within that? You can just hold it right up to this piece. Just a little fun tidbit if you didn't already know that. And then up here at the top, I have the special little fishtail banner with who inspired this month's sheet load. I have Danny's name as well as a link to her YouTube channel. And if you have that PDF open on your device, you can just click on that URL and it will take you directly there. I also have a link to the Mojo Monday sketch that inspired this. 
as well as a clickable link if you're on a device. If you don't have it open on a device, I will have Danny's links as well as the Mojo Monday sketch listed in the description box. Also at the top, like always, are the hashtags I would love for you to use if you play along. If you want to show us your sheet load, there are three ways each month that you can do that. A video here on YouTube, a post over on Instagram with those two hashtags, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. I do have the show us your sheet load guidelines video linked in the description box if you want to find out more. If you follow the supply list and cutting guides for this month's sheet load of cards, it is going to yield you nine cards. For that, you'll need three pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper, four pieces of solid color cardstocks, and then you'll need five other cardstocks for the bases. Now, those five cardstocks will, of course, yield you 10 bases, and you can just save that extra one for another project. On my sketch, I do have a little suggestion for an embellishment that is up to you if you want to add that or not. And then like always, if you like the layout but don't necessarily need nine cards or you want to use up some scraps, I give you the dimensions of each of the pieces to make a single card. At the bottom are some suggestions how to switch it up or alternative ways to use it. If you want to rotate the sketch, add layers, take away maybe the cardstock mats. Sheet load is just a great jumping off point for you to get started creating. On page two of the printable is the cutting guides. You're going to see how to cut each of your pattern papers as well as your card stocks. Now for the sentiment square, and I have noted it here, these are pretty small pieces. So if you have some scraps of cardstock you need to use up, you can definitely do that. You don't have to get out a full sheet of cardstock for that. Also on page two is my Instagram handle. If you don't already and you are on Instagram, I would love for you to follow me over there. Before I share a look at the main products that I use for this month's card, I do want to remind you that tomorrow I will be back to share the process of how I made my first set and my wonderful team of collaborators will be sharing their first sets here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Up on screen now is a look at the January through June 2022 Sheet Load of Cards collaboration team. You might see that there are a few new faces there, and later on in the month, I will be back to introduce them officially. Until then, though, the new members are marked with asterisks in my description box below. I also have all of my other collaboration team members links down there, so make sure if you don't already to follow them here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Let's go ahead and see what products I use this month. I was browsing through my local scrapbook store the other day, which is Busy Scrappin' here in Omaha, looking for some papers for the new sheet load of cards. I kept running into collections that I fell in love with and kept having to grab two or three sheets so I could do a sheet load. Well, I started to notice a trend. It seemed that most of the collections that caught my eye were from Minte Papers. Now I have been seeing these more frequently online lately, but I had never bought any because I like to see papers in person if I'm going to pay that much. Well, I don't think I would have been disappointed after seeing all the collections that Busy Scrappin' had. It seemed like everyone that I wanted to buy was made by Minte. It is a Polish brand, and that's probably why it's a little bit more expensive or harder to get here in the U.S., but I'm so excited that they do have papers locally, and I know that I will be checking for more later on. The collection that I'm using today has kind of a nautical theme to it, so what I did was I pulled out these old sailboats that I have. It is an Inca Dinka Do set from probably 2008-2009. And because I didn't have any sentiments to go with it, I made a printable where if you cut them to the crop marks, they are the same size as the sentiment blocks on the sketch. And I tried to stick with nautical sentiments. I have Seize the Day, S-E-A-S, Ahoy Matey, Oh Ship, I Forgot Your Birthday, and finally, friendship is the best ship of all. And I just made those in a few different fonts 
depending on how I was feeling on that particular card. Now tomorrow, if you're a channel member, I'm going to tell you how you can download this printable for free in case you have any nautical themed goodies of your own that you would like to use for the sheet load. To stamp my little sailboats, I got out Gina K Designs Cherry Red Ink. And for my mats, I chose just a red cardstock I had in my stash that I thought would go well with the papers. I think we all know how hard reds are to match, so I did my best. Here's a look at the three patterns I chose from Minte's Marina collection. You know that I love polka dots and wood grain, so I chose a weathered red wood and the blue and white polka dots. And then for my more busy pattern paper, I chose these fun little sailboats. It's almost like they're little origami boats. Let me know in the comment section below if you have ever used papers from this product line. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set this month, and then I'll tell you how you can download the January 2022 sheet load of cards. I hope you enjoyed that look at my first set of cards using the January 2022 sheet load of cards. Now I'll tell you how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. As always, I do ask before you click on that download link that you are a subscriber to my channel. I don't make you email me with any proof or sign up for a mailing list. We just go on the honor system here. It's quick, free, and easy to become a subscriber. Just click on that button below this video. Also, I ask that you do not share this file with anyone else. If you have other crafty friends or family members who are interested in the sheet load, please send them my way. You will find this month's link in the description box right below my Instagram team members. Below the link, it will say password, watch until end of video, but you won't need a password to download it. Watching this far to find out where the link is, is your password. You can open it on screen and use it from there while you're creating, or you can download and print it out like I have. Now, even though mine is in color, you can print this on a black and white printer as well and still use it. Don't forget if you share your sheet load online to use the two hashtags at the top so I can see those. And until my next video, which is tomorrow, the process, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.